Welcome to another episode of Coffee and Whiskey with Ivy. I have been hunting, fishing and foraging for one week in the crunchy countryside and it's a brilliant exercise. But I have also been watching the news and all the motherhood statements that are being made. So I will share some of them with you later. Leaders will do what it takes to put things right. Minister Heng is on the right track. But Minister, there must be accountability. Don't just kill the foot soldiers. Look at the people at the top who are earning the fat salaries and get them to pay for not doing a good job. Lee Kuan Yew was Prime Minister for a certain period of time, 1959 to 1990. Go Chok Tong was Prime Minister from 1990 to 2004. After 2004 till now, which is 14 years, when we started paying them the high salary, it was no longer doing the right thing. So Minister Heng Swikyat, unless you agree that complacency is a disease, that is also corruption in a way. SAF aims for zero training deaths with new safety rules. Another motherhood statement. If we are to achieve zero fertilities during NS training, we must have a strong safety culture in all our units and safety consciousness down to the last soldier. You mean we haven't had safety in mind all the time? Why hasn't this been practiced all the time? Why must we wait for another soldier to be killed before we look into the problem again? We must do something about it seriously. Nice group of men trying to get together to form strong opposition in our parliament. Opposition is always good, but we mustn't have opposition for the sake of opposition. I have great respect for Dr. Tan Cheng Bok. He was my member of parliament in Ayer Rajah. He was with the PAP from 1980 to 2006. Let me ask you, Dr. Tan, was there transparency, accountability, and were all our questions answered even then? What is going to make the difference now? Is it because you're now older and wiser, but we do not want opposition for the sake of opposition and creating a mess in parliament. We want seriously honest, and dedicated people. Kidnapping in Johor, this worries me because the other day when my driver was driving me, this car came right next to me and I couldn't see any of the passengers in the car. I was ready with my knife. It could be a kidnapper. Why do we have so many cars with so many dark windows? LTA, please do something about it. More in Singapore turning to adoption. I really respect and admire these people. They are so selfless to adopt children whom they did not create. In fact, they're doing the world a favour. There are so many unwanted children and more people should adopt. In fact, in Singapore, we should make it such that there is no unwanted child. Every child who has no home should be adopted. In fact, I want to give myself up for adoption because I'm now an orphan. Any takers? <laughs> Singpost taking steps to address service lapses. Well done, Singpost. I like to read headlines like that. And let me tell you something. I went to the Chua Chu Kang Post Office the other day and I can tell you the service was excellent. Please continue the good work. Depressed mom, daughter, five years old, found dead at the foot of a block of flats. It breaks my heart every time to read something like that. But we should stop as a society and ask ourselves, why is this kind of thing happening? Why do people get to that point of depression and feel that they have no one to turn to? It's very, very sad. SCGS student diagnosed with TB 
And then it goes on to say that her classmates disinfected the classroom. I mean, how would the classmates disinfect their classroom? But my sweet director says they use 99% Dettol spray. Chinese appetite for durians blamed for fresh deforestation. Imagine 1.3 billion Chinese all eating one durian a day. We will have no more jungle left. Three cheers to MES. They are named the Central Bank of the Year. Really good news. Keep up the good work. MOE language teacher arrested in Bangkok over alleged child sex. Here we go again. We should check every bloody evil man who comes into our country. As long as they are a foreigner, we should seriously check. Only losers and users come to our country. As I close this episode of Coffee and Whiskey with Ivy, let me leave all of you with an idea. Let's bring back the rugged society to Singapore. Let's make every boy and girl a warrior instead of a whim. Thank you for watching Coffee and Whiskey with Ivy. Please remember to subscribe.